Only a few decades ago, virtual reality was the stuff of science fiction. Movies such as Brainstorm and The Lawnmower Man. People could experience other realities merely by putting on a pair of computerised goggles. Now, the Oculus Rift headset promises to take virtual reality mainstream. And while you won't be able to buy one until next year, some early prototypes are in New Zealand. David Farrier reports. Virtual reality has finally made it to the mainstream. For decades now, we've been promised virtual reality. Virtual reality holds a key to the evolution of the human mind. With now it's here in the form of Oculus Rift. Starting its life as a Kickstarter campaign, online backers initially gave around $2.5 million to see it made. Many who donated were long-term fans of video games. <laughs> In fact, the man who created games like Wolfenstein, Doom and Quake up and quit his software company to join Team Oculus. Then, last month, Facebook bought Oculus for just over $2 billion. So now the man behind some of the best games ever made works for Mark Zuckerberg. Ah! Oculus Rift won't be on the shelves until next year, but developers around the world are playing with early prototypes. Now that the screens are faster, the uh, whole package is smaller, uh, it's light, there's no bulky thing around your head. Frog Shark and Auckland have been building games for the last month. To really demonstrate the power of the VR device, I thought I'd get someone who'd seen it all to try it out. Well, I'm getting a nice three-dimensional effect. Brian Metcalf is in his 70s. Good Lord. Uh, to us watching, Brian is sitting in a chair. From Brian's perspective, he's seeing a 360-degree view as he ascends in a roller coaster. Okay. Now, I had a feeling this was going to happen. I can't cheat, can I, by shutting my eyes? The hands say it all. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Stressful? Well, it's, on a scale from one to ten, it's, uh, is it supposed to be stressful? That's the question I would like you to answer. Slightly? Yeah, well, that's what I feel, slightly. It is definitely slightly. Have you experienced anything like this before? <laughs> oh, I love that question, yeah. No, not today. But this isn't a one-horse race. Sony is now working on their own virtual reality headset called Project Morpheus. Then there's Jaunt. They've raised over $7 million on Kickstarter and plan to shoot movies that work in virtual reality. Imagine watching gravity, but being able to look wherever you want to look. You control the film. Suddenly, you'd be yelping along with Sandra Bullock because you'd be Sandra Bullock. Oh, what a hoot. Well said, Brian. David Farrier, 3 News.